Bam! Hey Galactus, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited today because finally I have this big baby, Shelter Glass Jetfire. I missed out the original release on the regular version of Jetfire because I just start collecting Transformer figures this year. Now, that figure already very expensive in after sales market. However, I have mixed feeling when Hasbro announced this Shelter Glass Jetfire. On one hand, I'm actually very excited because finally I have the chance to get this Jetfire in this awesome mode. On the other hand, I am a bit disappointed because this Shelter Glass Jetfire is a strictly repaint version. We don't have new head scope or weapon under this shelter glass jet fire so when the regular version of jet fire available in market again i'm not sure i will buy the original version again or not without further delay let us take a closer look on the box art we have nice artwork on our jet fire at the front of the box This is shelter glass version of jet fire. Same as usual, a large open window at the front of the box. At the side of the box, we have nice artwork on our jet fire in action pose. On the other side, we actually have the same artwork. We have open top window at the top of the box at the back of the box we have nice photo shoot on the figure and we need 36 steps to transform from robot mode to jet mode we also have simple profile on jet fire at the back of the box for box comparison here is our kingdoms optimus prime and our zero pin rangers the height of our pin rangers just reach his waist area. Without further ado, let's us release our jet fire from the box. Hi, it's me. I will help you unbox. What? What? Jet fire? Are you kidding? No. No, no, no. No, no. I can't believe it. No. It's me. It's really set fire. Impossible. I'm no need your help. I can no, help myself. No. Oh, 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 oh. Here is our jet fire out from the packaging. I am surprised that I like this color scheme more than I thought. The black and purple color scheme with silver and fluorescent green touch up really made this figure stand out. We also have a lot of surface detail on this figure and I love it. Let us take a closer look on this big baby. The head is painted in nice silver, red paint on the eyes. Front camera are molded in transparent green plastic. Silver paint at the ear pad. And a lot of surface detail on the back of the head. We actually have light pipe pin here. But unfortunately the red paint on the eyes are blocking the light. 
we have some plate and piston sculpted here we also have a lot of surface detail sculpted on top of the chest area and this is awesome we have some panel line painted in purple here it looks like some energy flow through the piping we have Autobot logo at the front of the chest we actually can turn this piece here into the Decepticon logo to me this red color paint Decepticon logo are not matched with our figure let me turn it back to our Autobot logo we have some purple paint here green color transparent cockpit and we can see some block inside the cockpit we have a lot of mechanical details sculpted on the block the vent here is painted in gunmetal silver these two small doors here actually can open it's actually is a big for us to attach our chest armor we have a big shoulder pad here painted in matte black we have a lot of mechanical details sculpted on here the hand are painted in gross black the elbow joint are painted in silver and we also have a lot of surface detail on the lower part of the hand and I really love it so much to me here is the best part of the figure when you close the pump, the 5mm pot will appear inside the holding hand when you open the pump, the pot can conceal and hide inside the hand this really a nice design and I love it the side skirt armor can flow up and we have some nice surface detail there the holder here are actually explode up on his dress armor I do hope they can have extra cover to cover out the holder we also have some nice detail here same as other spark we have a lot of surface detail or mechanical details on his leg we have some silver paint here purple at the side nice gun metal silver at the joint at his back we have some piston here and a lot of mechanical details painted in gun metal silver we also have a lot of surface details sculpted on the foot some plates here and painted in nice gunmetal silver same as the back we have some nice silver paint and a lot of details we have some nice detail on the wind and painted in silver and we also have a lot of surface detail on the backpack we have a bit hollow at the back of the wind but not very obvious we have silver paint on the line and here some nice fluorescent green painted here as well as gunmetal silver painted here we have some nice missile cap or cover sculpted here and painted in nice gunmetal silver to me this really a very nice looking backpack it has a lot of surface detail on it the jet thruster are painted in gunmetal silver and have some nice details here is all the weapon and accessories out of the box our instruction manual 
is better armor we have a lot of surface detail sculpted on it our Autobot logo here and some green lining here nice silver paint at the side and this is really a nice looking armor we actually can open the armor and we can store our battle mask here we also have some nice surface details sculpted inside the armor here is our battle mask some details sculpted here the visor are in green transparent plastic and silver paint on the mouse plate camera also in green transparent plastic let us put on our battle mask ha 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 we have two double barrel shield gun the shield is painted in purple and have some nice details on it the barrel is painted in gunmetal silver we also have some nice details sculpted inside the shield we have a missile we have some hollow at the bottom of the missile and we actually have two of it here is a missile launcher or a rocket launcher we actually have the hollow at the side of the missile the missile actually can detach from the launcher as you can see we have a lot of details on the launcher but we have a lot of hollow on top of the missile and we have two of them we actually can attach another missile on the side of the missile launcher here is the jet fire gun the barrel is painted in gunmetal silver we have nice detail on the surface of the gun unfortunately we can see the screw at the other side of the gun we have two of this jet fire gun and we actually can attach these two guns together first we flow the handle we have slot at here plug in the pit into the slot and here is our two barrel gun this jet fire come with two blue transparent effect part but the surface detail a bit blur this effect part actually can break into th three different parts so that we can have three different pattern of effect part we can attach the effect part on the missile launcher the outcome actually not bad here is the second pattern of the effect part or we can attach the third version of effect part it looks a bit odd with this effect part we actually can have different combination of this effect part which is a very nice addition we can attach this effect part on our two barrel gun we also can attach the effect part on our jet thruster or attach the effect part at the bottom of the leg just like the iron man flying around or we also can attach the effect part on the chest area just look like he being shooted by enemy 
all the weapon are actually can attach on our jet fire here is our double barrel shield gun they can attach on the side of its hand maybe just me i just feel like this two barrel shield gun a bit small it will be nice if the shield are bigger or have longer barrel of the gun two jet fire gun can attach on his hand not sure why the gun a bit loose when holding on his hand here is our missile it can attach on the pick here to flow up the pick first we can flow up the wind then press on the purple section of the pick and then flow back the wind the pick actually difficult to flow up if you not fold it together with the wind we can just plug in the missile on the pig and you actually can rotate the direction of the missile the way you like here is the missile launcher it actually can attach on the hole at the back of the wind Do the same for the other side We have a hole on the missile And a pit on the backpack So we actually also can attach our missile launcher at the side of the backpack Same for the other side Here is our jet fire with all his weapons Now we're going to attach his better armor on his body First we open the side door on his chest This front door actually is the pit for the armor We have two slots at the side of the armor And we just plug in the armor to the pig Here is our jet fire with his better armor Here is our better mask We have a pig here The pig can plug into front camera here After put on his battle mask, we still can see his red eye is beneath the visor Here is our jet fire with his battle armor And this really a nice looking figure The head can look up that much And slightly look down that much 360 degree rotation We have ratchet joint here Can up about 90 degree We have ratchet joint at the shoulder Due to the backpack The hand only can rotate 180 degree Ratchet joint at the elbow Can up slightly over 90 degree Bicep swivel Swivel at the wrist 5mm pot inside the closed fist We can open the palm due to move over finger here Surprisingly, the waist can slightly swivel It can turn about 45 degree But it's actually blocked by its skirt armor Sadly, we only have hinge joint here 
not the ratchet joint the leg will a bit loose here side kit around 90 degree we have ratchet joint at front or back kit due to backpack we only can slightly kick backward that much we can kick forward that much about 90 degree soft ratchet joint at the knee can bend about 90 degree shriver at the tight but only can turn about 180 degree no ankle shriver the foot can move forward that much hinge joint at the foot can pivot that much but there will be a big gap here it will be nice if Hasbro can add some inner frame here our jet fire is about 1 feet tall or 30 centimeter tall we have studio series jet fire our zero pin rangers you can see how tall our jet fire are our pin rangers only reach his waist area we have Thanos here and he's only reach his chest area studio series iron height Voyager class Kingdom Optimus Prime Siege Iron Height and last but not least our Master Grade RX78 Gundam O oh. Autobot Transform
we have some nice silver paint at the side of the jet Autobot logo on the top The window of the cockpit are molded in green transparent plastic and some nice detail on the back we have a lot surface detail on the wing the back and the thruster are painted in nice gunmetal silver we have handle here at the bottom of the jet we actually can attach our other transformer figures on the handle We also have another handle here to release the handle, push down the skirt armor, and fold up the pig. And we can attach our transformer figure into the holder. This really a nice figure. I can't believe this is Transformer Jet. We hardly see any robot parts explode out from the side of the. All our weapon can actually combine in this jet armor. Here is our double barrel gun. We have bag here and slot here, and it can nicely attach on the center of the armor. We have slot on the gun and another two at the edge of the armor. Two pick here at the shear. To attach the shear, first we push the side of the shear into the slot on the gun. After the shear click into the slot on the gun, we just press in our shear so the pick on the shear can plug into the slot. Then we do the same process at the other side. Now we have 6 barrel gun on the armor. Here is our missile launcher. We have a pit on the missile and a slot here. We just plug in the missile into the slot. And our missile is pointing to the back But actually you can adjust the missile pointing to the front Same on the other side Attach the missile to the slot And here are our full weapon armor To attach our full weapon armor Fold down the fin There is a hole on the backpack And we can directly plug in the heavy armor on the backpack here is our full weapon jet fire ready to combat. The front copy here actually can open and we have some energy block inside. We have nice mechanical detail sculpted on the surface of the block. I will insert my Star Wars minifigure inside the cockpit. But actually, you can insert your Headmaster or Titan Master inside the cockpit. We have another copy at the backpack. To open the copy, we just pull out this part. As you can see, I actually already insert my mini Star Wars figure inside the cockpit. Same here, you actually can insert your Titan Master or Headmaster inside this cockpit. Let me put back my mini pilot inside the cockpit. Here is our Kyo Ring inside the cockpit. Here is our Disney Star Wars X Wing. Our studio series jet fire. As you can see, shelter glass jet fire more bulky compared with studio series version. But studio series jet fire are slightly longer.
Here is our switch iron height and our studio series bumblebee. Here is our generation select red wind. Last but not least, here is our master grade RS78 Gundam. Overall, this is very awesome figure. If you not yet have the regular version of Jetfire, I will highly recommend you add this figure to your collection. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit our channel again. Here we keep playing, keep building and keep dreaming. Bye.